guys welcome back to my channel on this channel I share my testimonies the Word of God and really anything that the Lord places in my heart so I'm so excited to be back and for today's video I have a very interesting message and it's gonna be about the holiness of God so really fast without further ado let's turn to 2nd Samuel chapter 6 2nd Samuel chapter 6 says David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel 30,000 and David arose and went with all the people who were with him from Baal Judah to bring up from there the ark of God which is called by the name of the Lord of hosts who sits enthroned on the cherubim and they carried the ark of the Lord on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab which was on the hill and Uzzah and Ahio the sons of Abinadab were driving the new cart with the ark of God and Ahio went before the ark verse 5 and David and all the house of Israel was celebrating before the Lord with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals and when they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, Uzzah put, his out, put out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God struck him down there because of his error. And he died there besides the ark of God. And David was angry because the Lord has broke, had broken out on Uzzah against Uzzah. And that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of the Lord that day. And he said, how can the ark of the Lord come to me? The ark of the Lord was a chest about three feet, nine inches long, two feet, three inches uh, high and two feet three inches wide and it represented the presence of the Lord it carried the name of the Lord of hosts and so this chest was so holy in fact God had specific instructions on how to handle the chest on who was going to carry it now the people that were ordained and set apart to handle and carry the ark of God were none other but the sons of Aaron remember Aaron from the Bible the one who was sent to Egypt with Moses Moses couldn't speak so Aaron took place and, and he was gonna be Moses's mouthpiece now Aaron had four sons their names Nadab Abihu Eliezer and Ethamer I, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing them right now let's quickly turn to Numbers chapter 3 and see how God set apart the sons of Aaron to be the carriers and the handlers of this Ark of Covenant Numbers 3 verse 1 says, These are the generations of Aaron and Moses at the time when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests whom he ordained to serve as priests. But Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered an authorized fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. And they had no children. So Eliezer and Ithamar served as priests in the lifetime of Aaron, their father. How amazing it is that God set apart specific people and their generations to just handle the Ark of Covenant and to be able to be the ones to carry his presence. He set them apart. He anointed and he ordained them. And it's so sad to hear the story of Abihu and Nadab who disobeyed God and, and offered an authorized fire before the Lord. Isn't this so sad and isn't this what we see these days that we go ahead before the Lord? We go ahead without inquiring of the Lord. And this was the consequences of going and running ahead in their own understanding and offering an authorized fire. And so the Lord was pleased with Eliezer and Ithamar. And if you read further, you'll realize that their nations were so blessed. And so Levites were able and they were the anointed people to handle the Ark of Covenant. Let's run back quickly to 2 Samuel. 
Now that we know that God had ordained specific people to handle the Ark of Covenant and to carry the Ark of Covenant, we can get a little bit of more understanding on what was really happening in this time. When we go back to 2 Samuel chapter 6, we can see that the writer painting a picture of a celebratory uh, movement of the Ark of Covenant. David had picked 30,000 men of Israel. Can you imagine 30,000 people to move? the Ark of Covenant from where it was into Jerusalem. David was known as a man after God's own heart. So he was going to do this very in a very big way. He was going to make the most out of this situation. He was going to have like such a big feast. He was going to have such a big celebration in moving the Ark of the Lord because he knew what it meant to have the presence of God. That's how important the presence of God was to David. And as much as David wanted to please the Lord, there's one thing he did not do. He forgot to inquire of the Lord on how he wanted the ark to be moved to Jerusalem. And that's one of the biggest mistakes we do as Christians. We forget to inquire of the Lord. Lord, how do you want me to serve you? How do you want me to worship you? How do you want me to honor you, God? How do you want me to sing to you? You're so gifted. You have such a great talent of singing. You have a great talent of speaking to the people. But we often forget to inquire from the Lord. Lord, how do you want me to sing to you? How do you want me to speak to these people so that their hearts can be captured? Isn't that what we do these days? I want to challenge you. Which areas are you forgetting to inquire of the Lord? I want you to go back into your heart. Look deep and ask, ask yourself a question. In which areas am I going with my own understanding? In which areas am I stressed out? trying to think of ways out and forgetting to inquire of the Lord. Well, unfortunately, this is the end of the first section of this Bible study. And I hope to see you in part two of the same topic right here on Real Talk with Miss Judy.